Hello guys and welcome to my Chandams games. In this video we're gonna learn how to add and attach objects to your character in Unreal Engine 5 using sockets. Sockets are incredibly useful for connecting items like weapons, accessories or any other object. I'm gonna show you also how you can add both skeletal and static mesh. And before we start guys, please support me by subscribe and liking my video or commenting and let's get started. Here I have a fresh third person project of Unreal Engine and I have in my projects my three objects two static mesh and one skeletal mesh I have my backpack a cap static mesh and a pistol skeletal mesh with his own animation and all these assets I imported from the Unreal Engine marketplace first thing that we need is to open your character blueprint for example here the third person character blueprint Go to viewport the first way you can do to attach uh, your object is go just to go here and type skeletal mesh for your skeletal mesh or static mesh for your static mesh for example we'll add uh, now the cap let's name it cap let's put here our 3d model okay you can attach things like that but your model will never follow the animation of the character so if we test now i have my cap here but look it's it's weird and it's not what we want so make sure that your static mesh is a child for of our mesh so drag and drop here and here in parent socket you can choose here for example the head the head of this mesh click again on your static mesh reset it to zero and here to zero and you can adjust also your static mesh and as you see now it's follow the animation and now i'm gonna show you the very proper way how to attach things to your character guys in this video i'm trying to show you everything but the very proper way it's what i'm gonna show you now so the best things we delete our static mesh from here click on your mesh and every skeletal mesh in unreal has a skeleton so press to click here and when it's open your character skeletal mesh go here to mannequin or your skeleton and here you can add your 3d models you can preview your 3d models you can see how it matched with the animations and things like that also I want to mention one thing here in this window we are not adding this 3d models to our character yet we only preview this 3d character here and after that we will add it to our character blueprint so first let's share for example here the head bone here the head bone right click click add socket so we will use the sockets to attach uh, our models to our character for example here let's name cap socket and now to preview your model how it will fit your characters with the animation just right click here and go to add preview assets let's add the cap and from here from the sockets adjust it as you like okay and to preview the animation click here preview animation let's preview for example the walk animation and you can stop here and play your animation directly from here and preview how the animation work with your 3d models let's add uh, more things for example here in the right hand you can search here for the right hand or you can search directly in the search bar our hand and you will find it here let's did it this and this is our right hand and also you can attach things to your character fingers but let's just keep it in hand R. I'm gonna add a new socket let's name it for example pistol socket let's uh, click on add preview assets and search for pistol here you can adjust your skeleton mesh or your static mesh I'm gonna do T pause here let's preview the walk now and as you see now I added my pistol and my cap let's add one more thing which is the backpack And as I mentioned before, this is just a preview, guys. This does not mean that your objects are already attached in your character. 
To attach these objects now, we will go back to your character blueprint, go to add static mesh, let's name it cap, and here we choose our cap model, which is this, and now we will attach it to our character. Here in socket, parent socket, you will click here, enter for our socket that we made it before. Here, for example, cap socket, it will be automatically attached to your socket. Let's do the same thing for the backpack. Name it backpack. Make sure that the static mesh is a child of your character mesh. In the same way, we add it to backpack socket. Reset the position to zero and the rotation to zero. Here, let's add our 3D model. If you don't see your mesh, reset the location and the rotation to 0 and 0. Let's add our pistol now. So, add skeletal mesh. Attach it to your mesh. Reset the location and the rotation to 0. And add your pistol or your skeletal mesh. And now in parent socket, add it to your socket. We name it already pistol socket. If we compile and test our game i have my character with my 3d models attached to it and that's it guys i hope this tutorial was easy for you support me guys please by like comment and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video have a nice day